Hey, it's Dr. Kovac at the Drake Center, and today we're going to be talking about why it's so important to get your cat spayed or neutered. Shouldn't I let my cat have a litter before I spay her? We don't recommend letting your cat have a litter before they're spayed, unless they are, of course, a breeding animal. If they're just a pet, it's really better for their health to be spayed and not have a litter of kittens. There are so many kittens in the world in need of homes, and we just don't recommend breeding our cats um, unless you're an, actually a, a breeder. My cat sprays all over the house. Will neutering help? Yeah, so a, a, a very common male cat tendency is to spray urine, and that's a sign of marking their territory. Male cats, intact male cats, urine is also very pungent. It has a very um, classic odor, very stinky for us, and so those animals will tend to spray in the house, especially if there's another cat outside that they want to guard or protect their territory. They'll, they'll spray urine as a, a marker for other animals. And yes, getting them spayed or neutered for males does help that, and typically makes that um, behavior go away and also helps their urine not to smell so stinky. Will spaying or neutering be painful for my cat? So it is a surgery. Uh, of course, we're gonna take all precautions to minimize pain, but of course we can't say there will be zero pain. They are under anesthesia during the surgery, so they're not feeling the surgery, and then they're going home with pain medications post-operatively. Um, but just as a human would have some discomfort after an incision was made, it's, it's about the same for cats, but we are trying to minimize as much pain as possible. Will spaying or neutering make my cat less vocal? Uh, yes, yeah, so for another thing that intact male cats will do is they'll yowl, um, meow very loudly to try to find a mate and also again to kind of protect their territory from other male cats. So males um, that are neutered tend not to do that as much and then females when they go into heat they tend to vocalize more again trying to find a mate. So those two vocalization behaviors do go away after the spay or the neuter but it doesn't change their ability to meow or the other sounds that they make just being affectionate with you. It uh, doesn't change their voice in any way, just changes those hormone levels. All right, I think that's all the questions we have today. Let us know if you have anything else. Thank you.